This is a Storm Team Alert, certified as Central New York's most accurate. Good Thursday afternoon. You, we start you off with the radar. Not too much going on around Syracuse just yet, but we do have some steady heavier rain off in western New York and approaching the southern Finger Lakes. We do have a chance for some showers in the Syracuse area, but the steadier rain holds off until a little bit later. Take a look at the wide view of this system. Stretches all the way down towards Florida. This has a lot of moisture associated with it, and it's going to be slow moving, so we do have the potential for some localized flooding. Take a look at the time cast. We start things off 1 o'clock this afternoon. It's still windy. We have that steadier rain approaching Oswego, Seneca Falls, Penn Yan, stretching down towards Elmira by 5. I think once we get towards the Syracuse area, it's not until closer towards sunset. That's when we start to see some heavier rain right along that I-81 corridor. Before that, we still expect some lighter showers. As for overnight, the steady heavy rain still lingers around the Syracuse area for the first half of the night. Second half of the night, this system picks up momentum and it moves off to the east. So the heavier, steadier rain is gone by Friday morning, but we do have some lingering showers. As for rainfall totals on average for the central New York, about an inch to an inch and a half. The higher totals stay farther south, closer towards the southern tier through Friday. As for the wind, you'll feel it if you step outside the door today. We have wind gusts at the Syracuse airport out of the southeast at 39 miles per hour, 36 in Ithaca. 38 in Rome where you see the purples here. That's the stronger wind gusts will continue to remain gusty throughout this afternoon early this evening. But then you notice by overnight 1 o'clock 3 o'clock in the morning that wind really lessens and it's not going to be as gusty tomorrow. Less of a wind for your Friday, less rain for your Friday too. But we still have a chance for some showers throughout the day scattered in nature. Temperatures are going to be cool. We'll be in the 50s. The rain showers continue into Friday afternoon too, so it's kind of a dull, dreary day. However, look at Friday evening. You start to see some clearing working in. A wind out of the west northwest, temperatures in the 50s. We get drier for the weekend, so maybe you want to plan getting out in the dry weather, taking some pictures like Don did. This is a beautiful picture of some spring blossoms, and this guy is a ruby crowned kinglet. Thank you, Don, for submitting that to our News Channel 9 Facebook page. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Some improvements for Saturday. I think it's mainly dry. Temperatures are near 60 degrees too, so I think that's going to be the pick day of the weekend. Sunday, we have highs in the mid 60s. The day starts off dry, and then we have another system bringing some light rain showers in here for Sunday afternoon. They'll linger into Monday as well. Monday's looking cooler. So is Tuesday. Temperatures on Monday are in the mid 50s. Tuesday, we only top out close to 50 degrees. 